Howdy folks, it's JD with Pinkney Custom Shop. Just got in a new project that was inspired by uh, one of my earlier videos on the, uh, the P-Base restoration. It's another P-Base restoration. It's a 71 P-Base and it really reminds me a lot of the other P-Base that I recently restored. I think that was the, the, the video was really the inspiration for the restoration. He wants me to basically redo this new project very similar to the way I did the uh, P-Base. So if you're interested in taking a look at that video, um, I'll go ahead and link it in the, um, in the notes down below. I'll show you a few pictures of it. Here's some pictures of uh, the base that came in. As you can see, in pretty rough condition. This one is going to need some extensive work on the neck uh, because the, the neck has got a, it's not in great shape. So it's got a bow in it, so I'm going to probably have to do some grinding. I have to redo the headstock because the headstock looks like it's got some water damage and some mold damage and stuff like that. What I'm going to do with this video is a little, something a little bit different. I'm going to do this video in multiple uh, parts. So this is going to be video, this, this is going to be part one. Part one will, will be focus on the neck. I wanted to get the neck going first because it, it needed the most work. Well, it all needs a lot of work, but um, if I can't save the neck, then I can't save the base. So I'm going to make sure I can get that neck working. I'm pretty sure I can, um, but uh, yeah, this video will highlight the neck and then subsequent videos will go into the rest of the restoration. I kind of wanted to do it this way this time because uh, in the last video, I, it just seems kind of long. It seemed like a, uh, an awful lot going on. <laughs> it's almost overwhelming. This too, this is an awful lot of stuff going on there. So I just wanted to break it down into into smaller segments, smaller bites, if you will. All right. So uh, without any further ado, here we go. So here's the neck of the 71 P base. You can see on the on the heel that this is a genuine 71 P base neck, but it's in. It's not in the greatest of condition. Um, it looks like uh, it's got some water damage. The front of the um, headstock, it's all, uh, it's, it's, it's aged to where it's like a brown color. I think what we're gonna do is just renew the whole thing because, you know, it's got this polyurethane paint on the back, but then, you know, I think in the early 70s, the polyurethane was uh, reacting badly with with the decal so they decided to use uh, nitro cellulose lacquer on the front and then and then they used um, polyurethane on the back I'm just gonna refinish the whole thing in nitro cellulose lacquer and um, there's another issue with uh, one of these tuners the owner was saying that uh, I think it I think it used to belong to his dad maybe and he was saying that it would it was going out of tune and it, it could be because it's got this, um, one of the tuners, uh, it doesn't have a matching screw or, or washer or for some reason, this this doesn't match any of these. So it looks like it was overly placed at some point. And hopefully I can find something that matches. The other thing I noticed, the frets are, are pretty much shot. And uh, there's a kind of a bow. There's a bow in the neck here. The funky bow. Um, so I guess they call it the ski ramp, where it's like bowed kind of like right here. And so it just makes it hard to get a good setup. So what I'm going to do is take out these frets and I'll go ahead and um, grind the whole fingerboard carefully because, you know, these fingerboards are not really very thick. These, uh, they're, they're basically a lamination. Um, the radius was done on the maple. And then they would they would laminate a thin piece of rosewood right on there, so um, I kind of got to be careful when I'm when I'm grinding. I can't I got to try to avoid grinding very much, but I do want it to be flat and level. So I'm going to do my best to get this as flat as possible, and then refinish it. And uh, so that's the story with the neck. Uh, there's going to be more stories with the body and everything else. Um, I don't think it came with the original pickups, but everything else I believe is original. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling this neck. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's take it out to the sander. Let's do a little grinding. We gotta try to we have to be careful we can't grind too much because it's there's not a lot of material to grind but hopefully there's enough there where I can get it straightened out okay shiny spot here but looks like looks like we're good looks like we're good so I'm gonna go with that gonna have to refinish this because a couple reasons <clears throat> the water damage all this water damage is gonna have to be taken off and probably maybe I can get away with keeping all this Headstock's got to be refinished. I'm not sure if I want to redo everything. Got the fingerboard looking pretty nice. Um, I had to. Didn't really have a choice because it was bowed. So I had to grind down the fingerboard a little bit. Um, it's perfectly straight now. Straight as... Uh, but... Some of the lamin it was had to be thinned out slightly here and here in order to get rid of the bow. So that's unfortunate, but it still looks good. Let's see if I can clean it up as much as I can and see see what we got. This feels a little bit rough, but maybe just a little bit of um Sanding. What should I use? Let's try this one. 
try this three, what is it, 320? Try a little bit of 320. I can see that this um, paint thinner is not, not doing a thing to, to this uh, polyurethane lacquer. Somebody started using it in the 70s. 60s it was all nitrocellulose. And then they, I guess they started using polyurethane. If I can just get this kind of smooth. Maybe we don't need to refinish the whole neck. I think that's coming out pretty nice just with with some sandpaper. We could take it to like a 400 and it'll be nice satin finish on the back here. Be nice and smooth. date stamp on the bottom on the foot on the uh, heel all that is retained I think we are good to go um, with the frets and then we will refinish the headstock
video is starting to take, to go on a little bit longer than I anticipated so I'm gonna cut it now um, <laughs> because there's still a lot to do but I have finished uh, most of the neck I still have to finish the headstock and make a nut at that point well the paint is gonna take some time to cure so if, you know I've got a clear coat I've got to clear coat the headstock and then let it cure before I can call it done and I also have to make a nut I'm not going to do that in this video. I'll do that in the next video. And there's lots more to do. I got to refinish the body. Uh, basically, the last video I did was more refinishing of the body. So it'll be some similar to that. To be honest, I could just <laughs> upload all the old video from that other <laughs> from that other restoration. The other restoration didn't need any network neck work. The neck was fine. It just needed uh, just the frets just needed to be crowned and polished. But these frets had to be completely redone. It was either this whole fret job and a whole neck redone. So it was more than I could fit into a short video. So this ended up being a long video. But that's just part one. I'll go ahead and upload, you know, when I when I get more work done on the rest of the, of the base, I'll upload those videos too. But obviously, it's probably a good idea not to do the whole base in one video. That would have been way too long, way too much stuff. And it'll be a while before I get to the next one, probably at least a couple of weeks. So don't think tomorrow there's going to be another video coming. Uh, all right, so I might upload some shorts or something. But uh, so that's that for now. And, uh, you know, if you made it this far, you know, I totally appreciate it. You know, go ahead and like and subscribe to the video if, if you made it this far. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.